ELISA testing is the most suitable tool for disease diagnosis and vaccine monitoring. It is a fast technique, easy to implement with possible automation for large-scale screening. An ELISA kit is composed of the following elements. The kit documents, instructions for use and quality control data sheet. The kit reagents, ELISA plates in which the samples to be tested are added. Several buffers, the blue one is for sample dilution. The yellow one is for conjugate dilution. The transparent one is the concentrated wash solution. The brown bottle is the substrate. The transparent one with the red cap is the stop solution. The kit also includes a concentrated conjugate and positive and negative controls. How to perform an ELISA test step by step. The ELISA kit must be stored at 4 degrees. Before starting a test, please allow all reagents to come to room temperature, that is to say 21 degrees. Homogenize all reagents by inversion or vortexing. Wash solution preparation. Mix thoroughly to ensure that the wash concentrate is completely solubilized. Prepare the wash solution by diluting the wash concentrate to 1 to 20 in distilled or deionized water. Plate preparation. The Activate ELISA kits can be supplied in whole plate or strip plate formats to suit your testing volumes. In this run, the strip plate format is used. The remaining strips are being kept aside for future tests. Do not forget to identify your strips for good traceability. Predilution step. In a predilution plate, add 5 microliters of each sample to be tested. Set aside wells A1, B1, C1 and D1 for the positive and negative controls and E1 for an optional internal reference material. Then add 245 microliters of dilution buffer 14 to all wells except to control wells A1, B1, C1, D1 and E1 if necessary. It is recommended to respect the indicated order of deposit to be able to visually control addition of sample to each well. At this step, the samples are 1 to 50 diluted. Thanks to standardized protocols across the avian ELISA range, you may use the same pre-dilution plate to test for multiple diseases. Dilution step. In the ELISA microplate, add X microliters of dilution buffer 14 to as many wells as there are samples to be tested, not to control wells A1, B1, C1, D1 and E1 if necessary. Add X microliters of the pre-diluted samples depending on the final sample dilution. For example, for a 1 to 500 final dilution of samples, add 90 microliters of buffer and 10 microliters of pre-diluted samples. You will now add the controls, 100 microliters of the negative control to wells A1 and B1. 100 microliters of the positive control to wells C1 and D1. And optionally, 100 microliters of the internal reference material to well E1. Then cover the plate and incubate 30 minutes at 21 degrees. Conjugate preparation. Prepare the conjugate 1x by diluting the concentrated conjugate 10x to 1 to 10 in dilution buffer 3. Wash step. The quality of the wash step may influence results. Empty the wells. Wash each well three times with approximately 300 microliters of the wash solution 1x. Between washes, avoid drying of the wells and ensure that wells are completely empty. In order to improve this step, 
it is also possible to leave the wash solution in the wells for 30 seconds to 1 minute. Before adding the conjugate, the wells should be completely dried. Conjugate step Add 100 microliters of the conjugate 1x to each well. Cover the plate and incubate 30 minutes at 21 degrees. Wash step. Repeat the wash step as shown previously. Revelation step. The substrate is a light sensitive solution. Add 100 microliters of the substrate solution to each well. Cover the plate and incubate 15 minutes at 21 degrees in the dark. Stop step. To stop the reaction, add 100 microliters of the stop solution to each well. The stop solution should be added in the same order as the substrate. Reading step. Read and record the OD at 450 nanometers. The plate must be read within 30 minutes after adding the stop solution. In order to interpret your data, we advise you to use IDSoft. This software program can calculate many parameters as validation criteria, SP values, titers, vaccination age, groups, and offers a graphic representation of the serological profiles for an easier interpretation of your results. Please contact IDVET for more information.